All right. Good evening. Thank you very much. Everybody who's joined in right on time at 8 p.m. Good evening to everybody who is joined. Thank you very much. We will begin the webinar in just about two minutes. Uh, and uh, this is a same school of construction business. All right, whoever you are, wherever you're joining from, thank you very much for joining. This is the live masterclass on bullet train projects brought to you by Ascent School of Construction Business. Today, we'll have a lot of fun. We'll be discovering a lot of exciting new things about how construction management works in mega projects. This is India's first such webinar about bullet train projects. And, uh, you know, we are very, very, very excited to have all of you here. We have roughly about 3000 people who have joined us for this webinar from various parts of the world. So welcome. We also thank our uh, collaborators, uh, you know, Gig Factory, Skillbind Education, Ames Construction Management Training Institute, Bangalore, and all other collaborators who have helped us directly and indirectly for this particular webinar. Let me quickly go ahead and share my screen. All right. This is a brief introduction about Ascend School of Construction Business. What we do, we are a new age business school located at the heart of Bangalore, we are focused on construction and business management. That is exactly what we focus on. And, uh, you know, we cater to the construction, real estate, infrastructure, and interior fit out sectors of the architecture, engineering, and construction industry. We have, uh, you know, we have developed a lot of industry first practical programs. If there are three things that stand out in a sense school of construction business, I would definitely say that the first of them is that we are 100% practical in terms of all the programs that we, uh, you know, come up with. The second one is the fact that we are extremely affordable. Uh, if you want to enroll in any of our programs, uh, you know, you can see that we are extremely affordable in terms of the fee that we charge. And, uh, you know, this is placement focused. So any program that you take up from Sen School of Construction Business is a placement focused program. Uh, without any more delay, let me quickly go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, give you a snapshot of today's webinar. This is the Ascent Live Bullet Train Masterclass, wherein we have a total of 3,600 plus people who are joining from all around the world, uh, you know, mostly uh, about 2,500 of them are students, uh, about a thousand working professionals, uh, you know, people who are majorly civil engineers, architects, the average work experience of people who have joined us today is about seven years. That tells you a little bit about the crowd that we have today. And we have people from all over the world. We have people from all over the country. That is India. We have people uh, from United States of America uh, in the Middle East. Uh, people who have joined from Qatar, uh, uh, Doha. We have people from United Arab Emirates. We have people from Saudi Arabia. And we have people, uh, you know, a couple of them from China as well. So this is a global webinar uh, to say uh, and without any more delay, I would, uh, you know, take the honor of welcoming Mr. Subrata Datta, who is the expert fee speaker uh, for us today. Uh, sir, welcome to the webinar. You can please unmute yourself just to give you a small and brief introduction of Mr. Subrata Datta. He is currently working as the project director of the uh, bullet train project in Ahmedabad station. Uh, and he is uh, very famously known for his previous 
projects uh, that is he was the project director for the narendra modi cricket stadium in motera uh, and he has been in larsen and tubro for the last 3 decades 31 years that's a long 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 time to spend in somebody's career and he has done that exceptionally well handling some of the biggest projects just to give you a brief brief of his background he is a proud civil engineer by background and he has done an education uh, you know executive education program with in collaboration with the washington state university and he has also worked in some of the largest projects that lnt has executed in india and uh, you know abroad so uh, sir welcome thank you very much for joining us uh and uh, you know interacting with us uh, for essence school of construction business as of now i can confirm that over 2000 people and more have joined this particular webinar so thank you very much for giving your time and the opportunity sir uh i would request you to uh please start the webinar and take it away thank you very much again thank you sachin it's a good opportunity for me uh, first of all i uh, welcome all those who are joining in this webinar throughout the globe so i can tell them good evening good morning i don't know because this is the range of uh, the globe and origin and it's i am also very i mean excited to present this uh, you all know this is the first project bulletin in india and uh, lnt uh, fortunately we got this offer job to for the first project c4 various packages so i want to show you and explain this thing and all this thing whatever i do my best knowledge and captures the photos and other slides so i don't want to waste time so i share this one minute i have to share the screen i yeah, hope it is you can see this you are audible sir you are audible and uh, please go ahead and share yeah. the screen now it is share they can see this no sir not yet please go ahead and share the screen again share the screen and please click the uh, okay one video minute, one and minute. share one. share sound button yeah yeah why as sir is uh, setting up the uh, the share screen uh, i recommend all of you to use the q and a section and uh, you know ask as many questions as you want this is a once in a lifetime opportunity absolutely free of cost brought to you by sin school of construction business at the end of the session i will make sure to ask all your queries to sir at the end sir the screen is visible you can yeah. uh, now proceed with the webinar so one second welcome all delegates and those who are participants here so it's the largest contest award till 2 years back the c4 project you can see the speed of construction is targeted for 5.6 km per month sir just one second uh, sir just one second uh, there seems to be a problem with the audio what i would recommend is share screen and uh, uncheck unbox the the you know video mode for now uh you know in the initial stage you don't have to share the video after that you can uh, now quickly go to new share sir quickly go to new share on top you can see new share yes on top and just uncheck the blue button both in the bottom and now you can share the thing and when the video is there you can then uh, you know check that so that the audio there's no disturbance sir right now yes it's visible you can maximize the screen the ppt f5 bottom corner it's okay yes right side sir right side yes right just just stop right one minute one minute i don't know no it is actually Why is that? <laughs> no problem. Sir, please go to the first slide. 
uh, this is the last slide. Please go to the first. Ah, slide. I'll, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. No problem. Okay, everybody has a sneak peek view of what is coming today, and uh, that's that's a great thing. And now, now I think it is okay. Yes, wonderful, sir. Everything is wonderful. Thank you very much again. You can please begin. Yeah. So uh, there are some little bit initial issues. So now we can start now. So this is the biggest, uh, our I mean uh, largest contract for LND two years back, two and a half three years roughly. So the fastest speed, it is the 5.6 kilometer per month that was targeted. The heaviest superstructure element precast, you can see the photos, is a 40 meter long garden, is a 1,100 ton. And for this catering the whole project per sections, we have lots of casting yard. So highest and biggest casting of 93 acres. And you can see there is one geo lab we have mentioned. 56,000 square feet. It's a Asia biggest one lab we have established in Surat. So catering the most of the test soil test. If we can see, this is the total length of the bullet train. The first package, this is a 508.17 kilometer. It is started from Mumbai and end at the Sabarmati Ahmedabad. You can see Thane, Virar, Vaisar, Vapi, Bilamuria, Surat, Vaduj, Baroda, Anand, Amdavad, up to Sabarmati. This is the stations. So part of that is within the Maharashtra. Major part is in Gujarat. If we will see, once again, total length 508.17 kilometers. Stations are twelfth number. So train capacity is 750 passengers. Maximum design speed 350 kilometers per hour. But operating speed maximum 320. And the time required is two hours, seven minutes to reach Mumbai from Ahmedabad. Now, if you see how the distribution of the C4, a particular package, it is total is 233 kilometers. It's a Varada. Five number of depot because that much of range altered some depots. Why is it supporting for the train maintenance and other issues? So this is depots are there. And in between there, there is a small portion of tunnel, only 350 kilometers, NATM. So new Australian tunneling methods, tunnel, those who are in this tunnel industry, I mean tunnel job, they know this. It's a particular type of tunneling. There are four stations in this package. It is a design been built lumps of, you can see the 24,000, roughly 25,000 crore package that time. Project schedule was 48 months. There are 13 reverse bridges crossing, and there are some electrical substation 29 numbers for this power management and everything. So customer, everybody knows it's a national high-speed rail corporation. Nature of project definitely design in bit lump sum. I have already told, explained project duration. Our starting date was 10th December 2020. To contractual start also the same, but contractual finish is expected 9 December 2024. This is the brief scope design and construction of civil and building works, in your testing, commissioning, blah blah blah, double line, high speed railway, viaduct, bridge, maintenance depot, tunnel, stations, everything is a full package. Our front and engineering design is PMC or DDC, JIC. NTC, Oriental Consultants, JV, and finally TCS is the main part of that consultancy and PMC. You can see the how it is distributed, total package, length. So length of hierarch for C4 is 237. Excluding length from C4 packages is steel bridge, continuous spans, this is 1.95. Length of hierarch under scope is now 235. Tunnel is 0.3. 350 meter art structure part of viaduct scope that was also some 45 meter nothing much total length of rigid frame viaduct that is 1.725 and total length of viaduct including station approach viaduct 233 a number of station in so Ahmedabad part is Vapi, Bilimuria, Surat and Bharuch and depot also Vapi, Surat, Bharuch and Barodra. But Surat is a two depot, 
one is maintenance of this main. Main depot is mainly for the train. So the train will come down at the main depot for various washing, maintenance, checkings, other things. Now you can see, so now there are some events. There's a casting of fox full span box, garter, at change. This is change. First November 21, we have done subsequent erection on 25th November. So these are the delegates, those who are there, or MD in HRCL, our chum, our uh, one of our board of director and heads for that visible business, Japanese consultant, our project team. So those who are present there, and uh, you know this type of occasions when happened. So this is a big gathering, and uh, so many people are there. You can see lots of award for these projects. That company has uh, owned this award. We have International Safety Award, Outstanding Achievement in Environment Management, Environment Excellence, Initiative Award, Best Sustainability Award, Safety Awards, lots of awards and applause we have achieved till now. Now, if you can see, there are some resembles and the comparisons between some big projects. I felt our Statue of Unity and Woods Khalifa. If you can see the concrete quantity, 68 lakh cubic meter, reinforcement 8 lakh ton. So you feel competitive of this. So I felt our 76 time. Only for C4 package. If we compare with Statue of Unity, 32 times. If we compare with Burj Khalifa, is it 20 times? So this is the volume we are doing. And if you see whatever the uh, project we have done so far, mainly the metros, Kochi 13 kilometer, Hyderabad 67, Riyadh 26 kilometer, RRTS 16 kilometer, but MSR C4 only one package, 237 kilometer. So now we can show you how the construction materials we are using, what is the tonnage? 32 lakhs metric tons cement, 8 lakh metric tons steel, that much of irrigated quarry. This is the logistic, it's a huge logistic. 30 numbers FLSM, full span, long garter, that yard, 3 number SBS precast yard, 750 acres land, or at least 300 spans per month casting. That's a huge, huge, huge. 30 numbers batching plant. So capacity 2,500 roughly cubic meter per hour. Dedicated queries. Six number RMS plant, 30,000 metric ton per month production for the reinforcement. And this is the Asia largest geotechnical laboratory. 300 borol per month testing capacity. Those who are in the soil, you may have heard of it. The maximum time required for the consolation test. One sample will took eight days. And if it is a 40 meter board, so at least more than 10 or 15 samples you have to collect. So, you know, the drying period is there for any sample. We have to fast, make it more fastest way we have to take the test. So lots of equipment is required. So India, those who are the laboratory, they are not well equipment. Digitization was not there. They have done lots of support we have taken, but still, it was not sufficient. Then LNT has taken a decision to set up the own laboratory. So geotechnical laboratory you have set up in Surat. You can see the Asia largest geotechnical laboratory. Then only the test has been done in time and we can proceed with the piling and other job. So total project has been distributed and segregated in different sections, section one, two, three, four, five. So that way, and this is the five, this particular yard that is on chain 359, 93 acres. I think somebody is telling it's Asia's largest precast yard. Production capacity, three kilometers of span per month. The huge casting yard. If you can see the other resource, what you have involved in this project, staff roughly 1800s. 
work, workers definitely more than 18,000. So lots of foundations we have done to shatter this required. That is 150 numbers, spire, pyka, 155 numbers, launching girder, six number, full span, AK one yard, 11 number SBS. So lots of saddle carrier, which is ca carrying this equipment, I mean, I mean uh, girder, everything, 10 beach gantry, six transporter, required for 1100 metric ton. Their rigs and cranes, 50 GTI rigs, 70 piling rigs. These are the, I mean, mobilizations in one area. Lots of mold, precasting steel mold, 44 sets, full span, 21 set SBS, <coughs> other girders and everything. Because it is combination of so many elements. So accordingly, we have to plan mold to meet the target. If you can see some photographs, piling, pile cap, pier, pier cap, pier and pier cap, we are using mainly that finishing, I mean, uh, water rig, that curing compound, that's, that's, that's the patches you have seen, the uh, white patches. This is the casting yard, the shifting, whatever the video I have shown, I'm just show you in this still photograph. This is the stacking, how to do is stacking. This is the erection. This is the casting of our US LG garter. This is the assemble of LGLD and this erection. So this is the way we have done, mainly 40 meter span, we have done a full, and wherever the span is less or more little bit, there we are using this uh, system, which is called US LG garter arrangement. This is the garter casting photos, garter shifting, Garter stacking, you can see garter erection, garter placing, how it is placed at the top, and garter transportation with the transporter. This garter can run above the erected garter. So there are four stations mainly. This has started from Bombay side is Bhapi, Dilimora, Surat, and Varuj. So how it is? Bapi is a side platform, I mean, station side, there are four tracks, side platform, Bidimuria side platform, Surat island platform is in the center, Baruch is island and side platform. According to the train movement, train stoppage, there are some train, two train, all this combination planned, accordingly platform has been set. If we go for the view area, build up area, Surat is 10,000 plus, deport mainly. Vapi is uh, 1,800, all other uh, depot are similar. There is a car confirmation base, confirmation car base, that is at Bilimore area, at that viaduct level. So that is like a siding of train or like that arrangement. Now, if you see the station, all station is capturing some cladding or outside finish, and which is a replica as the importance of that particular place. I'll explain. See, this is a Surat station. You can see the external cladding, how it is like diamond, because you know Surat is famous for diamond. You can see the ceiling. It gives the diamond feeling. So this is the Surat speciality that is been captured in the architectural finishes. So this is the escalator and that concourse level, escalator platform level. These are the waiting area, business lounge some views of the finishes I'll show you. Ticketing counter of customer care, automatic fare collection system, the nursery, first aid, deep facility, toilets and others. These are all things, how it is in the airport and better way it is planned in the station area. Now I'll go back to the main depot, Sura depot, if you can see, Surat depot is across the viaduct line. All other depot along the viaduct line. Because this area, Surat station, for there is a ramp will is in under progress. Through this ramp, train can come down and it will go to the main depot. You can see the main depot where some maintenance, some checking can be done. And this is another depot is maintenance depot. It is mainly for catering, other maintenance part of the track and other thing. So this is the Surat main depot. 
if you can see that today's progress, how it is a depot cladding work, it has been done inside the depot, uh, flooring and track, white train will come and their equipment will be there. There is a cladding installation, crash on laying, track in progress. There is also another depot structure. This is the present photographs of the project. If we'll see, housing 11 ton, saddle carrier, fabricated at LNT, Kanchipuram, what I have uh, explained earlier. So this is the bigger view of LNT GTI laboratory, which is 50,000 square feet. This is the seismic stopper being manufactured LNT Hazira workshop, because you know seismic stopper is required, and that is a mandatory for bullet train, high-speed train, that is structural requirement designed by Japan. And this is the 1011 ton metric ton Garda transporter that is also fabricated in LNT Kanchipuram. Now, if you go in the other part of how we'll manage environment, how we'll taking care of others' energy and thing. So there is one slide I have shown some solar light. We have used solar street lights, solar blinklers solar traffic light, <clears throat> solar rope light, 100% LED. If you can see how much watt we have consumed cumulatively, then what is the CO2 emission reduction? That is the most and most important thing in this world now because construction industry is the second GDP. It is the second one after agriculture in India. So construction industry is the GDP is the second part, second share in our GDP. So construction industry use lots of energy and that. So carbon oxide em emission reduction is our target. So what we have done that also we have monitored and we put forward to taking care of environment. And definitely to manage this much of mega project, digital initiatives are the must. It is the bread and butter of the project. So how and which are the Initiatives we have taken, I will explain. See, concrete management solutions, quality management solution, reward management solution, segment and material tracking, camera-based progress monitoring, virtual reality solution of, for safety, safety appliances, AI-based analysis, drone-based project monitoring, advanced geospatical survey, project progress monitoring, batching plant production, workman induction monitoring, plant and machinery is monitoring. So everywhere, whatever the resource we are using, so for better management, better control, everywhere we take the support of digitization for monitoring. You can see for the IMP implementation, IoT installed, fuel sensor installed, then the Lots of other, we have taken actions on that. We can see how the project monitoring we have done, ProCube. So it is planned versus actual, report creation, trend analysis, progress tracking, actual versus plan, and finally report generation. And see concrete tools, you can see each and every element, pyre, pyre cup, pile, Pile cap, how much concrete we have done, particular time, total production of reinforcement, concrete produced from particular plant and overall project. And this way, fuel, pilferage, it is everywhere. So, how much you can control? So, this is the whole thing distributed in some uh, segments as a plant and machinery, batching plant, reverse solution, concrete solution, and procure. So, this way we'll manage. This is the main management for this mega project, we have to follow all this digitization and the system, then only we can manage properly. You can see how we have taken drone-based project monitoring and it is data submission like that only, it is our contractual conditions also. Client, C46, Railway Ministry, HQ, HHL, process, everywhere we have to manage this. Workman training we have done, 16 years under surveillance, all our years on camera surveillance. And finally, building information modeling. That is the most important for the modeling, uh, for understanding the structure, detail, finishing. And not only that, we have taken care of progress monitoring through this. 
So this is the implementation part, quality laboratory solution, safety solution, wave bridge, full spare segment tracker. So these are the all measures to digitization and that methodology we have followed to maintain that uh, control of uh, everything. It's, it's not only the quantity, quality, time, safety, everything. So if you'll see our journey for June month, that time it was a 49%, roughly 50%. Erection, precasting, fire caps, fires, foundations, piling, everything in kilometer. So piling was that time 200 kilometers was completed, foundation 163 kilometers, fires 142 kilometers, pile cap 117, precasting 69, erection 51 kilometers, a month of June. And these are some, uh, you can say, uh, high profile delegates visit, Japanese ambassador, then CM Gujarat, railway ministry, and Mr. Shinobi when came, I think there are some news also. And this is a Japanese ambassador, India visit, bullet travel in Gujarat, bullet train trials in contact at 350. That was the target. 226, some priority station we are planning to complete that. And uh, this is nothing, I mean, new to, uh, I mean, uh, it's, it's nothing new for us because if you go to the NHRCL Facebook page, you will get every updates. So everything is there available. I only capture certain things so that you can understand overall views, how people are commenting on that and how it is wherever the incidents happened, how people are uh, coming, and everybody is encouraging from the minister level, government level, and Japan also delegates. They are also overwhelmed to see this mega project, how we, how, how Indians, Indian experts are managing this project. They are also um, now at least accept our Indian strength and capacity of this type of high-end finish, high-end quality, and mega projects. And I think I can close this, my show, with a big thanks to you all to listen to me. And I think I do my job to bring you some glimpses of uh, this mega project. Thank you very much. Over to Sachin. Sir, thank you very much. It's a very, very nice uh, in-depth update of the entire project. Uh, you know, some of these numbers, they're absolutely, uh, you know, it, it just makes us so, uh, you know, it just makes us feel very proud to be Indians. Uh, you know, the kind of numbers, sheer numbers that we are talking, uh, you know, overall, the entire project, some 18,000 workmen are associated, about 1,600 plus staff are associated with the project that is 20000 new jobs that we have created in the construction industry of course construction is the second biggest industry in india that is in terms of job providers first like you mentioned is agriculture construction employs around uh, 6 crore people in india and it's wonderful that you know so many of these large infrastructure projects continue to employ thousands of people and also you know another statistic that actually blew my mind was the fact that the amount of concrete that is being consumed is 20 times more than the Burj Khalifa, right? So many Indians have Burj Khalifa as the reference point with respect to, uh, you know, construction of mega projects and wonders. And, uh, you know, us being able to uh, create projects so big is itself a very, very heartening thing. From that perspective, from on behalf of everybody who has joined in, I would like to applaud uh, the entire team. And uh, of course yourself, because you've been gracious enough to share all the knowledge that you've received. Uh, sir, a lot of question and answer. A lot of people have, uh, you know, asked questions. Uh, so I'll be asking a few questions, not, not a lot, just a few questions. Sir, some of the uh, youngsters who joined the webinar, they want to know what are the skills that are required if they want to become like you someday? Right. What are the skills required, according to you, for them to, uh, you know, uh, join and work in such mega projects? No, no. Skill means see who are the new joinee in this construction industry. 
first of all they should have a patience and mindset to learn because when we are coming out from the college with some book knowledge there may not be up because it's a construction industry is a science but it's a, according to me it's a applied science means you have to application is required you can learn so many thing but whatever you learn this is a ideal condition but when you go to the project condition was it should not be ideal there should be some variation of that so that we have to understand that according to that we have to mix our knowledge gain some experience from others see the right take mentoring from others also so that way people can build himself or herself and definitely progress well but learning and that uh, what do you call that appetite should be very much more uh to accept new knowledge new technology uh, uh new i mean system uh, all these things this this way i think it's it's possible and definitely if you want to be a construction engineer and project management people management is the best part people is our main resource so we have to manage people better way then only outcome will be good so so that's my inputs wonderful to understand my construction life i am telling you yes no that's a wonderful actually it's covered everything right you've just mentioned three points very important hyper focused you have to summarize you said it's very important that you learn things practically right uh, that's that's so important second continuous learning and upskilling no matter how much experience you have it's always better that you continuously learn and upskill third people management is very very important in uh, you know in in somebody's career especially you want to handle mega projects you have to learn how to manage people money resources uh, so very well summarized sir that's a great insight uh, so uh, sir in terms of uh, your experience with ascent school of construction business uh, what do you think of our approach you know we had the privilege of actually hosting you in our campus also just a couple of months ago when you were there in bangalore so what is your entire experience of uh, you know sort of working with us and being able to deliver and you will be uh, engaging with us you know with our students in the future also so what do you uh, you know think about our own approach no no what do you understood because see i come came across when i was the in the seminar of icci indian concrete institute for the motera presentation that time i came across with you and when i visit your place i have seen and i understand from your uh, i mean your courses and what you are doing it's a very practical based it's it's not like that some bookish thing it is a need based uh, your i mean uh, target is need based support need based construction management project management technical support to provide those who are in the field i think that is the most important it, it's not like a very i mean categorically some orthodox type of uh, course it is very a variant is there got i understood uh, when i am discussing with you and i think it should be very dynamic according to the uh, market situation needs of the people you can reflex and flex your uh, program schedule learning material coaching material so that people will get more insights more practical knowledge case studies so that their applications in the field will be better so efficient wonderful that 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 i understand from uh, you when i am discussing wonderful thank you sir thank you very much one more question from a uh, faculty who is uh, who has joined us a uh, lot of people from the academic fraternity have joined today uh, including uh, you know the head of departments of some of the biggest colleges in india i can name uh, one uh, dr nagraj who has joined from bms college of engineering very famous uh, you know very reputed in uh, karnataka and bangalore a lot of uh, faculty fraternity have joined they have a question how do we try and bridge uh, you know whatever is there in their syllabus and whatever happens on the field uh, what can be done to bridge the gap for students so that the learning is more practical no uh, i think every engineering college there has a program i think second year third year for the site based training students are coming to us for one month some uh, college have given them three months program so when they coming to us so they go through the all aspects of the project construction management contract tendering uh, then uh, cmpc how to project construction management system planning execution quality 
all these things. I think this is the best way to management. And at the same time, now safety and quality, these two things are most important. Sometimes I have, as external, I have visited SEPT in Ahmedabad because I mainly based on the Gujarat. So uh, whenever there are students uh, covering their program reports to us for their project management and case study like that, everywhere I told safety is the first. Now construction industry is the only hazard is the safety. We have to reduce the hazards. Hazards cannot be eliminated zero, but definitely we can reduce it, may manage it. So safety first. So in engineering college also, now this is a system uh, we have to bring into that uh, teaching part and practicing part during that. At the same time, digitization, how best you can do. So now whole world uh, targeting digitization. Without digitization, we cannot manage a mega thing. Much of people like that. So if project management college, we can uh, show, um, teach them and bring some subject on that. I think it will be helpful to other students, those are coming from college and go to the project management. So, so, so that's wonderful. my understanding. Got it, sir. Understood. That's that's a great answer as well. So it's it's more of trying to uh, you know, make the whole program more practical, uh, having more site visits and, uh, you know, having internship programs wherein students can, during the program only, they can come and sort of, uh, you know, get on the job training. So that's a wonderful input, sir. Last question. Somebody is asked about uh, the usage of digital twin and building information modeling. How important is that? How important is that skill for a mega project? Uh, you know, something like building information modeling. Uh, you know, everybody is talking about it. Uh, what are the kind of, uh, you know, what is the scope of BIM in India? No, no, no. Now, now, India, without BIM, India cannot move now further. Whatever you have done, 2D drawing, this, that era is now going to close. I mean, that scope is with the getting down. Now, building information modeling is the most part of that. It is not only about detailing design. Same can be used for project monitoring, most of the thing like that. And it's a very, I mean, 3D like on presentations, so your understanding is very better. And there are lots of cross management is there. So many services are there. So many department involved in a constant area. So interfaces of each and every services can be understand very easily through this model. People understanding 3D views, complicated uh, figures, dimension, people can understand better way. And that construction is trained to a flawless. Because if you go more wastage, more rework, that can be reduced in this. So that way, building model system is required very much. And our project also, we are also started now doing this. Drawing is another thing, only extracted from the beam only. So it's a huge scope. Those who are in the student, they should uh, learn more on that. And it will give a very good mileage in now coming futures in construction industries. Wonderful, wonderful, sir. On that note, a small plug-in. We also have a building information modeling program, which is completely online. Six months program. So anybody who's interested can reach out to us. Uh, sir, uh, I think we've covered most of the questions, uh, you know, that, that we can share, that you can talk about. Uh, there are a lot of questions that have come, but... Unfortunately, right now, uh, because of confidentiality and other things, we will not be able to answer some of these technical questions that have come in, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, you'll keep reading the news and make sure that you follow the projects very closely. Uh, you know, like Sir mentioned, uh, there's a Twitter handle as well. So you can uh, follow the Bulletin Projects Twitter handle. You'll get more details, uh, you know, about the project and everything else. So, uh, Sir, uh, again, it was wonderful. Uh, all the attendees who have, uh, you know, who are present, uh, you know, please wait until the end. We will give you a way to download the certificate uh, of today's webinar. So uh, please attend. Uh, please, please wait till the end. We have about 10 more minutes. Uh, sir, with your permission, I would want to now announce a tentative date for our next, uh, you know, webinar that is happening. We are actually very, very excited. So many people have already given positive review, uh, you know, already, uh, you know, and uh, some of them have uh, actually mentioned that, uh, you know, they had no idea about how bullet train projects function, uh, you know, 
lot of people have mentioned good positive reviews so thank you very much it's already a great hit a lot of people have enjoyed the the session so with your permission i would want to quickly go ahead and announce uh, you know our next webinar i'll quickly share my screen sir sure all right so uh, uh, i'm just uh, enabling the chat just before i share the next webinar i'm sure uh, you know a lot of people would want to engage so i would want i'm just enabling the chat for just a bit uh, to everybody you can give today's webinar review uh, you know in the chat box quickly go ahead and type your review how was today's webinar uh, was it uh, ashok sir who is the founder of cmti construction management training institute one of our collaborators he has great, given a great review uh, I, just a small mention uh, gig factory is a collaborator wherein they uh, you know uh, come and uh, you know they're a facilitator for uh, you know freelance projects in construction industry so if you are looking for freelance projects please go to gig factory and uh, you know make sure that you create your profile uh, it's a wonderful platform uh, sir you can see that hundreds of hundreds of people are saying it was an excellent webinar it was really informative excellent information was a wonderful session uh, you know everybody is given uh, you know very good rating mr uh, akbar shah is saying congratulations uh, to the company for making all of us proud about the future of our country that is that is a general uh, you know view of everybody who is attending uh, somewhere we are extremely proud about the kind of uh, engineering marvel that we are creating and uh, you know we would really want to thank you for the service that you you know you've given to the construction industry and to the country as a whole actually it, it is possible because everybody is behind only things l and t this is a company we are telling it's a beyond imagination this is our tagline so definitely yes. it's a very good teamwork it's very it's a wonderful achievement from the from the whole of uh, larsen and tubro team and everybody who's involved it's a wonderful achievement it's uh, nothing short of a miracle and magic uh, somebody is saying is working from seychelles uh, which is which is a country in uh, just south of europe uh, he just came back home and he watched this particular webinar so people from all around the world have uh, you know sent their great regards uh, so uh, excellent session everybody is given wonderful uh, feedback sir so thank you very much uh yes now we will uh, show you how many of you would want a, a case study live session on the narendra modi uh, cricket stadium which is in gujarat the world's largest cricket stadium how many of you would want everybody is now interested sir about that so i'll quickly go ahead and announce uh, you know so that most people would stay in the same whatsapp group if you want to attend that i will quickly go ahead and share all the details here but that would be uh, you know there would be a small fee to it i'll quickly go ahead and announce uh, so i hope you are able to see the screen uh, yes so the next uh, mega webinar from ascent school of construction